Hey guys, Francis, the Crypto Sniper. Big problems in Ethereum land, big problems in Ethereum land. Those that think those spike downs uh, and those flash crashes and that was the end of it, it's all blown over. And I think, uh, unfortunately, that's going to prove inaccurate. This was the first after a major sell-off. This was the first. Let's just bring this drawing in here where I can scribble and everyone can see. This was the first real warning. You went, hey, well, first of all, whenever you go absolutely parabolic, melt up for such an extent you're getting overcooked you're getting fear of missing out on such a huge scale that it's going to lead to some pain somewhere um so from literally this setup over here this last one around the 260s we ran all the way up to 410 that is very fast very suddenly um can cryptos do it yes they can for a while is the growth on ethereum too much Yes, it is from the result of the technical setups here. This was a very high slung inverted setup and it gave a target to here and that target was made. Your first inverted target was made. Low one, high one, low two, high two, low three. That was your little funnel there right the way through there. And we couldn't clear it on the way back. We started fizzling, lots of grind lines. Um, if you want to know about inverteds and grind lines, you're going to have to come and do a program. But that aside, grind lines, grind lines. Anyway, l too low. Weak rally, touching once. Big seller, big seller, big seller again. Still a big seller. Clearing out, unloading. And it was supposed to have all happened with the flash crash, which this is uh, not indicating because this was uh, poly, which didn't have the same issue um, on here uh, as uh, Gox. No, it wasn't Gox. Um, GDAX and uh, Coinbase. Anyway, long and short of it, we've got a funnel here. Clearly funnel, 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 spill and break. Beginning of the break move. We've just run the second interim. We've just run the second interim. You may get a, sh a weak rally. You may not at this juncture. It doesn't always go away. Sometimes the selling ones can sell like madness. Um, but the longer run, the target just for this pattern alone is 210. And you will almost always with such a big structure pattern after such a melt up get overperformance to the downside yes overperformance to the downside means a real sell off in ethereum you will trade in the hundreds again having gone up to the 400s i am saying to you you're going to trade in the hundreds again and you're just under 300 now the 281 this will trade in the hundreds again in my expectation on balance of probabilities this Ethereum sell-off is serious. It's the first inverted in a new trend after a parabolic melt-up. Um, it was going up strongly all these times with normal continuation uh, patterns. And then you got this absolute melt-up. Note the, the initial volatility set up the first one. That set up a huge sell-off. Then you got the, the late bulls thinking it was just buy the dip. Every time is buy the dip giving you that rally. Couldn't take out the final levels. And then you depth very flat bottomed. Very flat bottomed. And then we were hanging, hanging, hanging. Trying to hold that 330 level and that 320 level on the 300s and we let the 300 go we've now let the 300 go um, and there was a little bit of support there at 320s wanting to buy wanting to buy they were overrun there's your break and this should see you trade through sub 210 just on this pattern but the overperformance aspect i suspect will take you into the hundreds we will see by how much if that happens um, we will see if this performs to target at the moment it's got a way to go still um, but ethereum do not be holding ethereum in my view right now bitcoin also getting sold off this could be a time for a little bit of tether could be a time for a little bit of fiat or very selective picking of micro caps that have a real story that is new that is getting a relative strength in a, what is actually a bit of a seller's market for crypto a bit of a seller's market for crypto literally since when we started our trading room we've been keeping people in um, fairly defensive plays um, and a few smaller caps that are at selector stories even they have been affected though by this so when uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum and all the big players sell off, you can expect there to be a little bit of a downdraft everywhere. This is where staying in the game becomes critical. Staying in the game becomes a critical. Watch out for this first setup in the downtrend. That's all I'm going to say. Um, Ethereum is relatively weaker than even Bitcoin and others. So be warned. Okay, that's me. That's my uh, take. I'll speak to you again soon.